Hey guys, so we're here talking about the basic safety training or what you commonly call the STCW training that yacht crew members need to get started in the industry. But not only do you need that training to get started in the industry, you also have to renew that training every five years. And last week I just went for my 3D refresher course to renew my training and there's a couple parts that we do. And we go over, we went over the in-water portion with the life raft and the survival suits. And then the second part of what we do in refresher training is our fire training. I think it goes without saying as to why you need proper fire training for on board. If you imagine you're out to sea, you're in the middle of the ocean, and your vessel catches fire, you need to know how to fight that fire because that's your if you're out to sea, that vessel is your safe haven. You want to do that the best you can to save that. So in our basic safety training, we'll actually don our fire gear. So our, we have our boots, we have our pants, we have our jacket, we have a hood, we have the mask or the SCBA. So the oxygen pack that we have on the back is called the self-contained breathing apparatus. And then don't forget that we have our fire helmet as well. We'll enter for refresher training. You'll see that we entered a Hollywood smoke filled building, if you will. So that smoke was simulated smoke. So we also had a fire that we actually did put out, so we engage the fire hose, we work with our fire buddy, and we travel through a dark building so you can't see. Your SCBA is hard to breathe through, and you're going after trying to find this fire, fight this fire, and we put out this simulated fire. The next thing that we did after that is we had a victim. So we had a dummy victim that we had to go in and we had to rescue. And you'll find that it's a little cumbersome. Again, you can't see, it's smoke-filled. That person is likely fully incapacitated, so you know a body gets much heavier when they're limp and they can't move. And you have to try to rescue them and bring them out of that fire. So it's really important to train, train, train. And let me just say this, don't leave your training to just the every five year renewal. You need to be drilling, drilling, drilling and making this almost become muscle memory so that you're familiar with your equipment, you're familiar with your equipment on board. So the unlikely event that you do catch fire at sea, you know what to do to turn, put this fire out. And let me tell you, for those of you that think it won't happen to me, if you're at sea long enough, it will, because I've been on fire at sea. And fortunately, we drilled enough and we trained enough and our crew was in sync enough that we were able to put that fire out and safely get to shore.